Hey, college maths is still very easy for some reason. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite documentaries. And today, uh, I'm going to do a documentary review again. And it would be uh, All Light Everywhere by Theo Anthony. So I'm going completely script free today because this is going to be quick. This is going to be fast. I'm not going to say too much. So last night I watched All Light Everywhere, a one hour and 45 minute long documentary about surveillance and police body cameras and also the philosophy and the poetry behind all that. Uh, first of all, I think it is a pretty interesting thing to talk about. It's not the most interesting thing to talk about, but the way Theo Anthony had explored every aspect about surveillance and body cameras it's actually quite interesting to see how he explores everything about it and uh, i also think it is a really well-made documentary the editing is sharp it's visually stimulating there are a lot of uh, beautiful shots and cool moments of silence cool montages cool musical moments the music for this documentary is made by none other than Dan Deacon, whose album I reviewed quite positively last year, and his music fits perfectly well with this documentary. It's minimalist, but also at the same time kind of futuristic and kind of high-tech and kind of overwhelming and beautiful, and it just perfectly fits the tone that this documentary is going for. I also think that this documentary is very thought-provoking. There are a lot of very uh, poetic and somewhat abstract narrations sometimes. I really love that sequence where towards the end of the documentary, it's just a bunch of like uh, deep fake faces just melting into one another and just transforming constantly. And these faces started to speak on their own, but it's actually the narration, but the voice of the narrator doesn't change, but these faces constantly change. It's scary and I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Now there are multiple threads that goes on throughout the entire documentary. We have this guy who basically walks around this company building called the Axon, which is the company responsible for um, manufacturing tasers and body cameras. And this guy basically just introduces the, uh, the, the gang, the team to, you know, walk around and film stuff. And then we have uh, this other guy who, who's trying to retrieve a uh, plane, which is like secretly surveilling the city of Baltimore and is taking like photos every single second every single day every single year then there is the history stuff where we learn uh about the venus transit the making of cameras uh people trying to uh capture things with pigeons and uh crime uh portfolio camera cards like it's quite complex and uh, again, uh, Theo Anthony pretty much explores every aspect of this idea of this topic that there is. And um, yeah, there is that. Now, I do think that this documentary is not gonna be for everyone because it is very meditative and it is a slow burn. It is a slow burn if you're not interested in like this at all like you would just be bored as hell as stimulating the visuals are because the documentary doesn't really develop into anything that interesting or engaging or anything but um it is still very well made and i still think this is a damn good documentary uh, again like i said at the end of uh, my uh, in the same breath documentary review if the friggin octopus documentary can win an oscar then uh, All Light Everywhere can definitely sure as hell win an Oscar. So um, here uh, it is. All Light Everywhere is a pretty damn good documentary and I'm giving it a strong 7 to a light 8 out of 10. So have you watched All Light Everywhere from 1 to 10? Which is rated like, like, and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching.